Camaro Boshid Versui. I tried guys, I really did. What's going on? Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today we are talking about how the Camaro is no more in Russia. That was my poor attempt at basically saying Camaro is no more in Russia. At least that's what the translator app told me to say, told me how to say it and I butchered it. So if you're Russian out there and you cringed, rightfully so. Anyways, as I just said, Camaro is no more in Russia. But does it really matter? Did GM actually try out there? Was there rules and regulations in place that prevented them from selling a car, ultimately signing up the doom of the Camaro in Russia? Let's take a few steps back. So first and foremost, from in 2019, GM sold a whopping 260 plus cars in Russia. I wonder why. Could it be because it had a detuned 2.0 liter turbo motor only and it was only available in certain packages? Maybe. I mean, why would Russians go out and buy an American sport coupe that makes it a sport coupe with a V8? The American V8 is what makes that car and why would any Russian want to drive anything different? Now, the only thing I can think of is government intervention in regards to laws and things that are applied to the cars out in Russia that just prevents them from having anything fun like that. Now, I want to believe that's not the case, but it probably is. Um, that being stated, in 2020, during the COVID crisis, they sold a whopping 30 plus cars in Russia. That was terrible. Their best sales month is 12 units. <laughs> it was funny, I made a joke because in one of Camaro news posts, I posted in the comments around sales in America, and I was just like, yeah, they probably sold 12 cars. <laughs> they actually did sell 12 cars in Russia <laughs> in a month. That's terrible. But uh, all things being said, the reason why I want to make this video is it's a pretty telltale sign that GM is going to start pulling back the Camaro. Uh, I believe currently the Camaro is only available in Canada and the United States now with the pullout of Russia. Uh, they were already booted out of Europe quite a while ago because of laws and regulations and whatnot that the Camaro didn't follow. Uh, so those cars are super rare out there, even more so in Russia, but you're never going to find a V8 unless they actually import it. And again, I'd be really interested to know the laws or if there was something holding it back or if some marketing guru and pencil pushers like this is the kind of car we could sell in this region and location and it just doesn't make sense to me but it is what it is if you're going to try to sell an american muscle car wouldn't you want the v8 and if you couldn't sell it with a v8 wouldn't you just say you know what it's probably not worth it to sell it out there that's my thought anyways um but the camaro sixth generation does seem like it's going to be coming winding down to an end um, the rumors have it as 2023 being the last year that the car is going to be produced and coming off the line. If that's true, that gives us two more years to potentially swoop up cars. Now, I think it would be awesome if GM would step in and maybe do some changes to the vehicle beyond just coloring and packages that not many people are buying. But I mean, it's nice that they came out with the one LT or the LT1, which was the lower model V8. And it was nice that they expanded the LT versions to span all the options and give dealers more choice. You can get the one LE and everything. It feels like they just started doing the easy things that people had been asking for forever, but uh, not the really fun things that people are now asking for, like put an LT2 in the Camaro or an LT5 before all of the restrictions or regulations that your own company is putting forth in regards to having no gas only powered vehicles coming off assembly lines by 2023. And if that's the case, and I don't know if that's just or, uh, commuter like consumer cars or if that means commercial as well, but I mean, if you look at the lineup, it looks like even the C8 Corvette is getting a new hybrid LT2 motor that will have electric drive assist. I don't know how that's all gonna work, but in looking at some of the lineups I've seen, like it's true, 2023 gas power only cars are gone so it makes sense that the Camaro would stop being produced in that time frame especially if they're not planning to do anything to the drivetrain or any updates now does that mean there's not going to be a future Camaro well that's the hope 
the hope is that maybe GM will roll something out that is a hybrid and not just a pure electric vehicle. I honestly don't care. Give us a hybrid, give us a pure electric. I'd be perfectly happy with a pure electric. I have two V8 Camaros and uh, yeah, I don't need a third one, but I would love to have a commuter electric car that can get me to and from work without having to guzzle gas like crazy. My Ram gets anywhere from 17 to 20 miles a gallon on 37. So that's not helping me much, uh, but I could definitely sign myself up for an electric Camaro or even a hybrid of sorts that's gonna get me much better gas mileage. So. Um, sorry Russians, you no longer get to play with the current generation Camaro. I'm sure there's a few out there from all the different generations across the board. Honestly, if you guys are from Russia and you have a Camaro and you're watching the channel, I'd love to see the cars that you do have out there. Message me on Instagram, lethal underscore Camaro, and send me pictures of your car if you're in Russia. I love all you other guys, but I would love to see Camaros in Russia doing Russian things. I don't know what that means, but I'll just throw it out there. So either or, that's all I got today. Uh, Camaro is gone from Russia. We can only hope GM's gonna do something with the car before it says potentially goodbye forever or goodbye from being a gas-powered car only forever. Uh, but that's where we're at. That's it, that's all. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the road. Vasui, Vasui, Vas... Camaro Boni... Bo... Bonny. Bosch need Vrasi. Bosch need Vrasi. <laughs> oh.